Well, hello and welcome to episode 56. Someone asked me once if I was very organized and I told them I'm extremely organized because I don't do anything. If you don't do anything, there's no need to be organized. <laughs> if I was dating a woman in this day and age, I would give her two selfies when I'm with her. After that, she would be gone. Women take way too many selfies and actually guys do too. And I find it shallow and self-absorbed to be doing this. And I don't care how attractive you are. Give it a break. <clears throat> I don't know what the statement, what you see is what you get, means. It means nothing to me. People are never that simple and basic, and everyone is putting on some form of facade. You never know what you're getting with people. Everyone has their ways, and people are complex, moody, and self-centered, to name a few. When someone makes this claim, I always think to myself, yeah, wait until someone calls you out or makes a fool out of you, and you'll know what I mean. Here's two opposing questions with the same answer. What is considered to be the best and worst invention in history? It's cell phones. And I can understand that. They are incredibly useful, efficient, practical, and multifaceted. But on the flip side, they're a hindrance, annoying, cumbersome. They have taken a large portion of our daily lives to the point where they play too much of a role in our everyday existence. But they are helpful and can save lives. Who would have thought? Cell phones being considered the best invention of all time and the worst invention of all time. I forget where I read that. At first, I found the butt thong or butt floss bikini very sexy. But as it has become so predominant on the beaches, I grow tired of them. I suppose you could say that I would like to return to the days of imagination and maybe not seeing too much in public. I'm no prude. But it's become too much of the same thing, and I prefer the bottom part of the bikini to keep those two butt cheeks together. It just works better, and I find it more attractive and becoming. The female derriere is a very special thing. Don't get me wrong, but the average male is not much better in life. This thought came to me while I was on a Bimini Beach recently, on Bimini Beach recently. And yes, all of these women are putting on a show. Lovely, but I'll go with the former bottom part of the bikini on a woman or whatever they call it now, the non-butt floss or non-butt thong bikini. The butt floss bikini is now getting old, at least for me. All right, and I've run into enough female waitresses and servers over the years, and I have to admit, they all have their different styles and characteristics. And I'm referring to race and ethnicity here because there's something very subtle, charming, alluring, and enticing about women from Indonesia, especially Bali. It's difficult to, to describe since their charm is so soft and subtle that you find yourself getting lost in their gaze, smile, and gentle approach. I recently encountered this again in Bimini, and this woman had me floating on a cloud, almost to the point where I couldn't register what she was saying since I was so captivated by her beauty, soft smile, and enchanting grace. I just smiled and was dumbfounded. I don't remember what I ordered, what I said, and I don't care. I was lost in her stream, totally enchanted, but I'm okay now, I think. And anxiety is the norm now, but certainly there are many levels to anxiety. Basically, in simple terms, you have no anxiety. If you have no anxiety, you're not alive. The world just continues to escalate the pace of everyday living, which begs the question, is it more difficult to live now than it was 30, 40, 50 years ago? I don't think so. The pace is faster, but technology has made many everyday aspects easier. <clears throat> but phones, the internet, communication, and technology in general has sped up the everyday pace of daily life, and there is now nowhere to hide anymore. You get barraged every moment with some message that wants your attention, and you end up getting to the in, into the endless stream of communication. <clears throat> Anxiety, uneasiness, and jitters are the consequences, and we're tasked to stay on top of this constant stream of information, which increases the amount of decisions you have to make each day. You can drown in this flood of information. Relaxation is hard to find these days, but you have to manage it somehow. And I will end here. <clears throat>